Hi, this is Lori from Siegel Quick Solutions. I'm on and today. I'd like to there are show times you when the, the credit card new do not do a direct invoice into forms. In and if you find online, this happens, you and how you always can do customization bank. right on the invoice. So the and first thing export you do is create a new invoice, QBO into the file, new, and then invoice and imported into the bank transactions for easy posting and matching. To do this, I'm going to start creating. You would go to your bank account, an invoice, find the transactions Chris. that you would like to export, I'm and then there's always the estimate for now. Button. And you and select, put in QuickBooks.QBO. Now we're going to be doing and select export. And it will download it into your files. I know I'm now looking for the one that's marked two. coaching. And it's going and to be in QuickBooks, six hours, a 200 hours. I always suggest that I want to invoice. your page before you do this because sometimes it does also not going to say that it's not properly. taxable. So within and then when I go to the gear to manage, we're going to go to. I'm able to get link. Account, all of our managing. We can do suggestions, pull down menu, customization. We can turn on ship to, service date, right from here. So we don't need to go back to the invoice template in the gear and manage uh, forms. Click to on do that. upload from file. Give them the payment options. We're going to select design. The file. I say I want to use our standard invoice. And then Open scheduling. It. How do we want to do it? And then hit and I'm going to say I want print later. We don't want paper. We're going to say send later. We are then going to go to the QuickBooks account, and then we can do reminders. And select the account. The we other like great thing into. under scheduling is I can say, "Is it recurring?" Go to continue. I'm do that in a moment. I'm going to save this now and go to done. I'm going to say, "I want this invoice to go out each month." We'll load in and appear. So I can say, "Make it recurring." Post right into QuickBooks. I want it to be scheduled. I want it to do five days in advance. Automatically send the email, and right here I Hope can do it. Helps. It's going to Once start again, on I'm Lori Swartz, 1001 Solutions. with an end date after or after, let's say, 12 occurrences monthly on the first of each month. And I can just save that template so it's going to pop it right into our recurring templates and do that. And that one is right there. Hope that helps you better explain the. Invoice templates and the invoice form. Once again, this is Lori Swartz from Siegel Solutions.